Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get right to it. Also, since YouTube is being stupid again and not sending stuff out to people's um, inboxes and not putting my stuff in recommended anymore, hit that little bell out beside the subscribe button if, you've already, if you're already subscribed. And if not, what are you waiting for? But maybe someday YouTube will straighten this out and they will start actually putting things in people's mailboxes so they can actually watch the content. Because I have 89 subscribers and I'm getting like three views. Something doesn't seem right. And I went and checked the analytics and something would tell something tells me that things are not making it recommended since the recommended numbers have literally plummeted. But that said, let's get to the story for this particular episode of The Big Ranch Show. And that is hemp. And something that happened yesterday, Republican Mitch McConnell in the Senate decided to uh, he was going to introduce a bill to Congress to legalize hemp production here in America. And all I can say is it's about damn time. Now, hemp and marijuana are two very you know controversial things for some reason. Um, there's really not a lot to be controversial about. There's a lot of evidence, you know, on the marijuana side. The main thing on this story is hemp. Yes, hemp and marijuana are very similar plants. You know, they come from the same species of plant, but they they're they're different in the in the nature of how, what they contain. You know, marijuana is loaded with you know THC, you know the drug that gets you high there, and that's a you know it's got its medicinal purposes and stuff it can be used for, and its recreational purposes of course. And hemp, on the other hand, is a slightly different plant that is more more for um, agriculture, things like getting the seeds from it. I guess so you can do whatever you do with the seeds, which I'm not very knowledgeable here, but I'm going to give you the information that I have. I do know that they use it to make things like they can make use hemp to make things like rope, clothing. They can use it to make they can make paper out of it if they wanted to, and it's got a very low THC count, which depending on how you know the variety it can be you know it has to be you know it has very low thc levels compared to say that of marijuana so there's really not a lot to it there's not a lot to hemp that's going to cause you to get high as i have been reading this morning you know you would have to smoke a whole lot of hemp to even start to get a you know to get a high of, of any kind now one reason i'm not very i don't have a whole lot of knowledge on marijuana and such like that is because I don't I don't use it but I know a lot of people out there that do and a lot of people that you know could very well benefit from something like you know um, from something like you know marijuana being legal but let's get to the story here of um, what we can you know what to expect here and why this is coming about um, First off, George Washington grew hemp back in you know his day, and it was it's only been for about the last eighty years that hemp has been banned in the U.S. And a lot of farmers are out there, not farmers, but a lot of you know industri industry in America are importing hemp from places like Canada and China and other places around the world because most other places don't have a, a prohibition on hemp. And so one. This bill is an it's it's an economic bill because it would put more farmers to work. More farmers could grow hemp. They could sell hemp, and the the manufacturers that are buying hemp from across the you know other parts of the world could buy it here at home. Therefore, more farmers working, more people working, helping pick the, the hemp. Da 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 da, and there you go. Right, makes a lot of sense. Secondly, it's coming from Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell State, Kentucky, um, once was a huge hemp uh, manufacturer grower, and so they really believe that going back to growing hemp could be a big boon for the economy of the state of Kentucky. So, of course, you know it's it's a possibility. It's a reason that he would he would introduce this bill. Senator Rand Paul has also supported legalizing hemp in the past, due to the you know for the uh, the economy of the state of Kentucky and their history of growing hemp in the past. 
Now the question is, could be that you're asking is why? Why would hemp be pro prohibited? It's because of the the um, the classification that they gave um, hemp and marijuana a long time ago because of its THC content as a class, I believe it was a class one, you know, narcotic or whatever. Something that has absolutely no medicinal value or any other kind of value. Out of some fears of different, you know, races and things like that using it. There was a lot of stuff going on back in the 30s, for example, when they wanted to put a, put a prohibition on this kind of stuff. You know, they were scared that, you know, different immigrants would, you know, they've used this fear fear-mongering, telling people that Mexicans and black people were going to, you know, invade their their homes and kill them and all this mess and rape their women because they would, uh, supposedly the, the argument was that they would, you know, they would get they would get stoned on marijuana and thus they would come in and rape your family, you know, and kill you and murder you and all that stuff. A very insane argument because the few people I've known that smoke pot, dear Lord, they, they're not going to be killing anybody. Um, um, like I've said in the past, maybe a bag of Doritos or some Taco Bell. <laughs> but that's how hemp ended up becoming um, banned here in America. Is it got, in, in, by the, you know, by the 60s, it was classified as a class one narcotic with no no benefit but because of the confusion of hemp and marijuana and the fact that everyone or not everyone but especially back then though everyone thought that they were exactly the same thing there was no difference and they're not the same so even if you don't support the legalization of marijuana which i, I i'm not going to even get into that here I'll, that'll be another video later in the week maybe um you should at least be able to support hemp the production of, of hemp in an industrial setting. You know, it can create, you know, some different, you know, can do, they can derive medication out of it, but the main thing that they can do, one of the main things it can do is it could be, you know, it's very, it's um, sustainable and you can make a lot of things with it. pencils, paper, rope, you know, they, there's um, different oils you can make out of it. You know, they can use for, for, you know, health, you know, you know, like your, face and you know face creams things like that you know there's lots of stuff i have seen that they can do with hemp i used to have a neighbor of mine who told me a lot about hemp and i wish she was still living because i would go you know i would actually have gotten an interview with her to get a discussion over how that you know some of the other things because she told me a long laundry list of things and you can look it up for yourself you know hemp is not some dangerous drug that's going to kill the world and Make everyone stoned. It's something that can make America a lot of money. And it could lead to, you know, a reclassification maybe at some point of THC and marijuana as well. There's no guarantee of that. You know, the main point of this bill that he wants to introduce is to legalize ag um, in industrial hemp production in America, which I fully support. One, it puts more people to, to work. Farmers will be able to use more, you know, they be able to grow it. You know, and we could use it for things, you know, and quit using so many trees. I, I've read that you can you that you can grow so much more hemp in a, an acre than you can, you know, a forest of tree than you could an entire forest of trees in one acre of land. And so the plants are are this they're they're related. There's not a lot of difference between them, except for their THC content and the way that they grow. You know how you know the height they grow to, and the width of the stalk, and everything like that. So agriculturally, there is no reason for hemp to be banned. There is no reason at all because there is no there's a very little chance for um, hemp to get you get anyone high. Very little chance. And once it's produced into something, it's not going to make you high. I mean, come on, people, wake up. It's 2018. We need to end the prohibition on hemp. Let it be produced. Let American you know, manufacturers use it for what they need to. And let them buy it here in America. Quit sending our U.S. Money, our US dollar out to other countries you know, to support their farmers when we could be supporting our own farmers here at home. 
you know, our family farmers are struggling. You know, corporate farms have come in, and that's been, it's been, a, you know, a, a terrible attack on the family farmer. But I think, I think legalizing hemp production and growing, being uh, legalizing the growing of, of hemp, I, I think would be, it could actually help save a lot of American family farms. Although there's not that many left from what I hear. But this could be a, you know, a boon for the, for family farms and allow, allow people to keep their farms going. It could be another way to, you know, offset bad years of other crops. And it would be good for the overall economy because you wouldn't have, they wouldn't have to be importing this stuff from other places. So that's really all I have for you for this video. I might have another one this afternoon or I may hold, hold off and upload, to, uh, upload it tomorrow. We will see. Anyhow, um, my hat's off to Mitch McConnell on this particular bill. I hope he passes it. You're not going to see me supporting Republicans very often. But I'll definitely support Republicans that support the legalization of hemp here in America. Y'all have a great day. I've been your host, Jacob Keck. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you down the road.